even though it seems like they always have two of them, it's not supposed to happen like that, right? Okay, we get a draw engine, and we get two cards to play on top of it. Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, ghouls and goblins, to another episode of Hello Good Game, where we're playing Magic the Gathering Arena, utilizing today Selesnia Base Adventure, Sabertooth Squirrels, a very aggressive deck with the highest converted mana cost of four, being Toski, Bearer of Secrets, everything we want in a creature, indestructible, can't be countered, and it's a draw engine. Sign me up. So we're doing our best to break Toski today in this themed deck of Scrat, the Ice Aged Squirrel. Um, you know, I don't know why I came to that conclusion, but this little guy is fierce. Uh, he seeks card draw as tenaciously as uh, Scrat would his acorn. With that out of the way, if you guys do find any value within today's video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the channel to all of your friends, your playgroups. Just yell it out on the street while you're... Actually, maybe not during these times. People probably don't want you yelling, but, um, you know, quietly text your friends. That'll be great. And let's get into the deck. If you do want to go ahead and support financially, I welcome you to do so on Twitch, Patreon, YouTube, our Amazon link, and through Great Viking Games. If this video gets 100 likes live, I will be giving out a $10 gift card to Great Viking Games as well. So that will happen every single video. Like the video, comment. If when live it reaches 100 likes, I'll pull a random comment. There you go. 10 USD on your boy. We also have a 500,000 gem giveaway, free cash prize monthly tournaments on MTG Melee, 100 one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions with myself, also coming with a cash prize, and much, much more. Join the community to find out more. All of our links for today will be located in the link tree link in the description below. Of course, you can also just Google Hello Good Game link tree to find it easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's get into the deck. Sabertooth Squirrels is a 2.2 average converted mana cost deck with 34 creatures and only 4 non-creatures. 22 lands and no MDFCs. So this is what we get. We do have the takedown, I should um, you know, mention as an MDFC, but we rarely play this as the plateau. Uh, this 9 times out of 10 will be just played as the takedown and a form of removal for us. We're going very wide with the deck, so the removal should be relatively easy. Focused primarily around Toski, Bear of Secrets, a 1-1 with Indestructible, can't be countered. It attacks each combat if able, and whenever you control a creature that does combat damage to a player, draw a card. This is going to be very, very nice, considering all of the creatures we have in the deck and how low converted mana cost they are or how cheap they are allowing us to play multiples per turn and then ramping or uh, sorry curving because there are no ramp spells here into Tossy on turn four and hopefully drawing for a three card minimum right so moving away from that it is an adventure shell that means we have edge wall innkeeper a one one whenever you cast a creature spell that has adventure draw a card some of the cards with adventure that we'll be utilizing love struck beast this is a five five it can only attack if we control another 1-1. One, one. The Edgewall Innkeeper is a 1-1. One, one. Also, Toski is a 1-1. One, one. It can create its own 1-1 one, one through the adventure at sorcery speed for 1 mana, creating a 1-1 one, one white human token as well. Shepherd of the Flock times 4. This is a 3-1. Usher to safety as the instant speed adventure for 1. Return target permanent you control to its owner's hand. This is very nice for not only protecting something like your edge wall innkeeper, but it also is very nice for bouncing your creatures that have adventure so you can replay their adventure. For example, Giant Killer is a one converted mana cost, one power, two toughness creature that can tap as long, uh, pay two mana and tap to tap a target creature, which is great. And you can use chop down for three mana at instant speed to destroy target creature with power four or greater. So we're using Usher of Safety potentially to bounce a giant killer, putting it back into our hand so we can replay Chopped Down. You see how that um, sequence goes? The same with Lovestruck Beast. 
If Lovestruck Beast doesn't have a 1-1 one, one to attack, we can usher to safety the Beast, use Heart's Desire, and then replay Lovestruck Beast. Um, so this does come into effect of being aggressive and defensive because, yes, we can interrupt any of our opponent's removal for usher to safety, but we can also, you know, get extra value out of our cards. Another good example of that, it's not an adventure card, but Skyclave Apparition, a 2-2, when it enters play, XL target non-land, non-token permanent, and opponent controls with converted man cost four or less. When it leaves the battlefield, they get an XX equal to that card's converted mana cost that was exiled. That's fine because it's losing its abilities. If it had reach, it had trample, it had a draw effect on it, right? Something crazy, maybe a removal effect. You get rid of that and they just get a dummy token um, that's vanilla, right? Doesn't have any attributes other than this power and toughness, which is cool. So you could be ushering to safety your Skyclave Apparition and recasting it for more exiles, which is very, very good. We have two copies of Scavenging Ooze to control the graveyard. 2-2. Two, two. We can pay one. Exile target card from a graveyard. If it was a creature card, put a plus one, plus one counter on the ooze and gain one life. The life gain's not bad against the aggro decks. Controlling the graves is even better. Plus, it's just a decent aggro creature, right? 2-2 uh, two, two for two that can go to three, go to four, go to five is a relatively good card just based on that. We have two copies of Maul of the Skyclave. This is a three converted man cost equipment. When it enters play, automatically equip it. The equipped creature gets plus two, plus two, has first strike and flying, which is amazing. And then if something happens to the equip phase or the creature, uh, we can re-equip it for four mana, which is a little bit expensive, but it's fine. Four copies of Usher of the Fallen. This is a two one with boast for two to create a one one white human token which is relatively decent, uh, a good attacker for one mana. We talked about the takedown, pay two, damage equal to the number of creatures we control to target creature or planeswalker. Four copies of the Hallowblade, a three one in which we can discard a card, tapping it to give it indestructible. Very nice, avoiding lots of removal. And it has indestructible beside Toski. Two Arden Veils, pay five, create a one one token, seven swamps, seven forest, four branch loft pathways, and to Temple of Plenties. So the land base is really nice. The scry helps uh, you later on in the game. It's pretty lame to play slow, but there's lots of basic lands, so you shouldn't really have to. And, um, you know, there are enough lands that you may want to be scrying them out of way and enough draw that it shouldn't be a problem regardless. So to recap, your main objective is to get Toski out on turn four consistently. Other than that, Flood the field with creatures. Utilize your edge wall innkeeper and adventure cards to replenish your hand so you're not losing card advantage before you get Toski out and do all of that. And, you know, equip your Skyclave, your Maul, onto your Toski, onto your Hallowblade. Something with Indestructible that's going to potentially dodge any of their removal they have, forcing them into, you know, needing that exile, right? And then, of course, you can protect everything with Usher to safety, etc., etc., etc. So that's the deck list. That's the strategy. There's not much to it. Flood the field with creatures, attack, get flying, exile your opponent's stuff, protect your own, and you'll probably win a lot of games, I'm assuming. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the channel to your friends, support financially on Twitch, Patreon, YouTube, our Amazon link and Grey Viking Games. Download MTGA Assistant for free if you're on Windows. Everything from metagame analysis, your own deck statistics, your collection information. My favorite thing is the Deck Advisor, which will recommend a deck for you to play based on your personal collection, keeping you from spending those pesky wild cards that you're trying to farm. Really, really cool stuff. Uh, it is taking a second to load here, so we won't get held up on it, but it's cool. Check it out for free on Windows through the link in my link tree. You can Google it. Hello, good game link tree. With that all out of the way, thank you guys so much. We crushed through 20,000. We're already headed to 21, if you can believe it. At 30K, we get special emotes for YouTube, which is a lot of fun. So tell your friends, pass me around, and uh, we will see you soon with our wrap-up thoughts. Alrighty, our opponent goes first. Some German sleeves? I should really know my flags better than I do. 
I think Usher's better. And let's kind of keep Innkeeper until we can drop it right underneath of a card with Adventure. Let me just Google the German flag quick. Yeah, definitely. Okay. I knew that the whole time. I never second guess myself. <laughs> really? Okay, so. Bit of a bummer, but. We can just keep playing in to the mono red. Championing play, no blocks. Rimrock Knight. Okay. Not wasting any value. The giant just like stops them in their tracks. You know what I mean? What does a mono red deck do against a 5 5? Nothing without cleave. <laughs> Good game. Good game. Our opponent plays first. Our hand doesn't look that bad. We had better play slow and respect the curve as we build to it. And I definitely just kind of want more land. I like the ooze. I respect the ooze, but... I'm not 100% sure on bricking. Like, I want to drop Toski turn 4 always. Right? That's going to be our main objective. Sleeves can be found within our link tree link by MTGA codes. A couple dollars, right? Well worth it, in my opinion. Instant email delivery. Oof. And we're having trouble with that land. Just playing real slow. Is this a 60 card Yorion deck? I'm not 100% sure what's happening. You know, CGB just did the Esper Doom Jazz, so I can only assume that's what we're playing against. <laughs> Jokes! It seems like a lot of people seem to play his decks the day after we see them uh, showcased by him. And that's, man, it's like so crazy that he's got such a big audience. I love it. Okay. So we're going to get doomed. So let's just crush the value. Right? Let's get some draws going. Oh, perfecto. That's good. Good, 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 good value. They each replace themselves, which is awesome. They take the Skyclave. That's all they have access to. Here comes Doom Foretold. We sack a Giant Killer. We pull a land. We play Toski. Double draw. Oh, a hot dog. We're all odds. We are all odds. That is paralyzing, one might say. But that was their exile. Maybe there's no more exile. But we can't sacrifice our token. Right, if they do have a Doom, we can't sack the token. We have to sack our own Hallowblade. Cool, cool, cool. Whatever. It's one of the better plays we could have made, actually. Hit for one damage. The 
they have five cards in hand, four mana in play. Whoa. Got a frog in my throat, you guys. We lose our apparition, they get a 4-4. Four, four. Whatever. Let's just keep trying to get as much value out of our deck as we can. No attacks. Well, I mean, it's a, we're in a terrible position, right? I, how we win this, I don't know, but we'll get there. We'll get there, right? Oh, an eliminate on our draw engine. That is spicy. That is spicy. Do you think they have brazen freaking borrower? Can't be countered. Has indestructible. Needs to be exiled. But they could bounce the beast. Which I guess isn't the worst thing. We can make another Heart's Desire. They could also just bounce Toski. I think we just take out the 4-4 four, four here. Oh, man. Itchy head. Frog in the throat. What's going on with us? Okay. Token. Dealt with. Let's force their hand to either have it or not. Neutralize? Okay. Deals with them both. They wanted to neutralize, but we played Toski last turn. That's interesting. So Doom doesn't work out the greatest. Oh, no way. Another event. How lucky can you get? Two extinction events. Woof. We almost recovered from the first one as well. We were so close to recovering there. All right, let's hit for four. Toski in play here would be awesome. <laughs> right? Toski here would be absolutely amazing. They sack their omen. So they're looking for answers too. That means... Maybe they're not in the best spot. There's no instant speed draw, so they have to take the scry. Still utilizing their mana. Not bad. Waiting on their next move. It is our end step. They get a full turn. Four cards in hand. They've dealt with everything we've played perfectly. Shoutouts to Marty. What are they necroing? They think we have the Great Henge, maybe? They take Toski. There are more copies of Toski, yeah. None in hand, sadly, so we don't get a zombie. Which I actually would have appreciated. Oh! So sad. They get to see that... Stunning forests we have in hand. Hmm. The plot thickens. What if there's a world in which this actually works out? Pushing our way through two extinction events. Losing our draw engine to a necro. 
I think there is a world where we still win. Right? Getting roped here is not a bad thing. We're gonna probably do some shenanigans here with Shepard, right? I don't want to lay out my play lines too soon in case we have any listeners. Let's get our damage in. That is successful. Let's try to bounce our beast to our hand. That way we can replay Heart's Desire and the beast. Because it's just dead right now anyways. Oh. <laughs> oh. Another neutralize. Okay, you're a funny guy, eh? I see what you're doing now, eh? Let's push our way through it. Omen of the Sea, Scry 2 draw. That's real good. <laughs> One to the top as well, so they get whatever they're looking for. Banishing Light. They're taking out Hallow Blade. Dirty dog. That's what I mean. This guy's getting the draw, right? This is a, a challenge. They're tapped out, you know, so... Let's re-implement our prime directive, which is to smash and bash. Get that single point of damage in. Woohoo! Down to 10. We're going to be okay. Should be fine. What are they looking at their grave for? Dance of the Mats? No. No. Stop it. <sighs> okay, okay. This is still a match somehow. Still a match somehow. I think this is kind of over. Let me pull up my list. I mean, a, a Maul could be pretty cool on the Shepherd. Even Usher, if we can start boasting. Skyclave needs to hit that Banishing Light. Oh my god, another Banishing Light on our opponents. You know, maybe Innkeeper and we get some draw on top of it. Okay, okay. Let's make it work, people! I wish it was something to turn on Lovestruck Beast to attack because then we could have lethal in two. So an edge wall innkeeper would have been actually really nice there. Oh, another neutralize. Three neutrino bombs blasting us in the Chopskis. Oh, no. Our opponent is out for blood. You can dance if you want to. We can leave your friends behind. <laughs> All right. This is still a match somehow. Is there another neutrino explosion about to happen? That's what I'm calling neutralized from now on. Neutrino bombs. <sighs> Let's take our indestructible creature back. Again, I wish that was a Toski. We could initiate Love Strike Beast. Playing it out, you guys. They're on their last card. They draw to two. This can work. There's no problems. They're going to use a Castle Vantress. Take massive advantage on us. Probably drawing, oh, I don't know, their third extinction event. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna dance again. Well, there's only two things to dance back, so the dance isn't actually that great, uh, unless they're sacrificing these almonds and re-dancing them in, um, which they could have done, but they didn't, so that must not be the option. 
Oh, I feel like it is a dance, though, because they're going all crazy on the mana pool. Manually tapping, the sign of a good player. Uh... So watch this. We're going to sack Lovestruck Beast because it can't attack. And then we're going to pull in Edgewall Innkeeper off of the top that would have allowed it to attack. 100%. Watch this play. Watch this play. Here comes the... Jo oh! No, third land. Better. Even better. <laughs> oh. Good times. Good times. Our opponent is alt-tabbed. You know, they have been away from Pornhub for about... What is it? A uh, couple minutes now, so they had to get back on. Right, you can't can't be alt tabbed away for too long a wolf let's hit for five mmm eliminate and then we have to sacrifice our hollow blade down to the last card nothing but answers baby well we have plenty of discards so it's not an issue and they know this so we take out the token, but then we have to sacrifice, and then they go back in control, which is so sad. Which is so, so, so sad. Cry. We are deaded. They're sacking their omens. Which is fine. They get the draw. We have to sack our Halloblade, and we're left with nothing. <laughs> you can choose not to sacrifice. No. Pretty sick draw. Eh? Pretty sick draw. Four lands in a row. That'll be just fine. Please, sir, uh, can I have another land? Um, Why we're still playing this match, I have no idea. It feels bad to concede a match when it's gone 20 minutes. You know what I mean? Right? It feels sa so, so sad. Interesting. We get our shepherd back, but we resack it ourselves. The tome draw engine for them. There is still hope here somewhere if that tome just absolutely sucks and we get a god draw. We're talking about Edgewell Innkeeper off the top and then nothing but adventure cards, right? Nothing but adventure cards. Uh, cry me a river. We skip our turn so the Doom can, you know, complete its cycle and we're not always just playing into it, playing into it. Yeah, people are asking if we can go in full control and skip the Doom sacrifice, but if you read it, it's it just happens and if they can't so it's you don't get to choose if or not you can the game chooses based on the availability you do get to choose which permanent it is but you don't get to choose whether or not you know the dooms or self sacks to trigger we've got this we've got this this is still a game somehow fine sure i don't care Dun, 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 dun. God draw! Oh, they get a 2 2. We toss the land. That's why we kept it. We lose to life. Okay. End our turn. They look at our hand. They can't do anything. It's a creature. They get to see it, though, which sucks, but let's just try to play all around it. Um, it's 
three cards in their hand, plus they have a draw. Oof. It's a so much value, man! Regardless, a good game, and, you know, we're showing the... What do we want to call it? Resilience, let's say, of the deck. Well, that's a play. So this is still a match. <laughs> I can't even say it, seriously. Um, let's give them a hello good game, right? They obviously are watching content creators on YouTube. They're playing CGB's deck the day after. Let's show ourselves out. Woof. <laughs> Our opponent plays first. And we have no adventure cards to play on our innkeeper. It's a good hand, though. So we'll hold on to the innkeeper until we do get the adventure, because obviously our opponent removes it immediately. So let's just get after it. AFK bot. That's a pretty cool name. Hotel. Instructable in case it's a Doom Scar and we hit for two. Skyclave on three. Toss key four. Just keep the Edgewall Innkeeper draw engine after the wipe. Oh no. We lose the blade. What's up with all this exile? Exile's illegal. So, if they wipe... Let me attack first. Let's see what they do. This is a good block for us. If they block, it means they have a wipe. Yeah, they do. <clears throat> okay. I will allow that to happen. Let's just throw out all these tokens. Where's a battle for Bredegard when you need it? Copy all of our tokens. That would be cool. Birth of Melitus. That's okay. And they foretell over again. Hmm. Are we going big? Are we going big? Toski God Draw enabled. Oh my gosh. Four damage, triple draw. Now that is helpful. Three innkeepers. Wow. They call it hand smoothing, but I'm sure it's hand chunking. They take Toski away from us. No. There you. So I still think we're going to get wiped. This costs three, so we could double drop. Mm, probably still worth it. Yeah, still worth it. Skyclave might have been the better play there to force their next to hand, but if we just keep putting out value, right? Keep putting on pressure. That that's going to be more valuable right because now we still have an innkeeper for draw and we have shepherd to draw off of it they're pulling back an apparition next turn they have six mana they could potentially all run us if they play a land no another birth that's okay that's actually not that bad land comes in play here they have four up shatter the sky to fairy that's fine as well it can minus three on our turn they draw and discard Field of Ruin. They're fully tapped. So Maul of the Skyclaves. Not on the Lovestruck Beast because Teferi's going to minus it. Right? We want to put that on something relatively unimportant. It's tempting to put it on the Beast, 
but I think that's how we can get into a lot of trouble. And we may as well take the scry. Toski can sit right there. That's B E A beautiful. Well, no, because they'll just rank to fairy right back. Let's just put the pressure on. Let's go in for big boy damage. Take the token. I'm sure they have field wipes, which is going to be real sad. Just toss in the land. Oof, down to six. So they get the defender. They take our beast or they take the mall. The mall, in all honesty, is probably the better option. But, you know, the beast is available as well. Also, the innkeepers are there. They can't take the uh, token, but they could take the mall. And did they take nothing? I'm so confused. That's why they took nothing. So, land and play, toss key out. They can't counter it. Innkeeper out as well. They could counter this, and they should counter that. Teferi's annoying us, right? That minus three is a little bit the thing it's just drawing still right which is also a bit of a thing let's just take the draw rather than protection you know they only have so many cards so let's try to do our best at pulling another 30 land just like last game <laughs> right these wipes are really hurting the deck. All the exile hurts as well. They need more exile, but they do have Teferi's minus three. Dream Trawler is going to get the job done for them as well. Dang. We've been having tough luck today. Good game's tough luck. And it can just minus on us. Hmm. It's annoying and I hate it. We go to the shepherd. The fairy phases it. Ouch. Couple hard matches in a row. Let's try one more. We go first. It's slow, but it's there. And after today's matches, I'm just having fun with the game. We can try as hard as we want and just ruin the game, or we could have fun. Today's a fun day. <laughs> Playing slow. Takedown can go. What are we playing against? Grixis? Just mono red Yorion? What? Nice juke. Nice juke, bro. It's definitely mono red Yorion. I had this happen to me, must have been a year and a half ago, in one, like the second or third MCQ. Um, I could not handle my life. It was like, unlike anything. I had ever experienced. The first time I'd ever seen 
um, Mono Red Yorion. It was like the very first time companions were um, available. When you didn't have to pay three for them. Right? It was even worse. I mean, I do feel decent in this matchup. Let's take our attack. I'm not going to equip a Skyclave unless it's indestructible. Because they have removal, right? Damage based removal would basically waste three damage. And then we'd have to pay four for it instead and later on instead of three. And that's no good. We lose our draw engine. Ouch, skis. Usher of the Fallen in play to accompany Season Hallow Blade. The blade has indestructible. Now that is good against Mono Red, especially if we don't draw another land. Because if we do, we're going to go with our Toski draw. A golden egg. All right. Come on. We're being trolled now. We're being trolled. Good game. <laughs> what is happening? I, I, I'm in disbelief that that is a mythic player. And it cannot be our last match. You know, we have to get a real win. <laughs> we go first. We deciphered that it was a mono red Yorion Tybalt combo that didn't get their combo pieces. Which makes me smile a little bit. They never deserve to get the combo pieces. Get out of here. I seen someone playing that deck in like 97% the other day. And I was just like, oh my god. How many matches a day do you play? <laughs> right? So many, I bet. Um, Yeah, let's just play it slow. We already have four lands. We don't really need five. Let's take our hit. Beast out, and then they remove the 1-1, one, one, being clever, and then Toski on top of the beast. Big hit, withdraw. HGG has great laugh. <laughs> okay. They're doing some stuff. Beast in play. Hit for one. Lethal in 18 turns. Watch out, we're coming for you. Cultivate. This is where they pull the black source. Play the swamp. Gross. I... What if they have a wipe? Let's just take our regular draw. I was tempted to play the Shepherd and the Innkeeper. Two lands out of the way. Maybe that's good. If they cultivate again, if they migration path, I'm going to freak out. If they wipe us, I'm also going to freak out. They hit evens, I'm sure of it. But then again, we can just reactivate the beast immediately. We've had bad luck today, so I'm just like trying to see how we make it out of here. I'm not sure if we will. It should be no problem being roped. They're just checking... A few things, I guess. Quickly plugging their phone in because they're playing on mobile. Rushing to the bathroom. They got the Royals. <laughs> Is this going to happen? Are we going to need to play another match? I just want a good game to showcase the deck for you guys to close out the video. Right? And we're getting clowns. 
we had a good game to start the video at least that's very important but i do want to close it out on a high note as well i don't see why they would rope us here unless it was disconnect and then how do they not notice that they're disconnected and then just reload the client I guess. Let's take our hit. Just push the next timer. Right, there's not really any need to even think about things, I guess. Oh, they're here. They're playing with their pet. Huh. So confused. They're highlighting cards. Hello. Let's give him the hearts. Down to five. Triple Toski draw. It's too much. Wow, again, nothing but lands. That's pretty cool. We have both Usher to safeties open. And we'll just uh, sit here, I guess. They could wipe the field and then still build into their ultimatum and probably still win. Can we go? No, we have to do it first. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah! Oh my gosh, that has gotta hurt. Going first, blessed be thy draw hand. Let's start it out slow. I guess we'll just play our flocaronis vanilla style. Never mind. Never mind. Blade and play avoids removal. Has to be exiled or sacrificed. So we have lots of draw to make up for the discard. Demir control, I'm assuming. Foam turn two is fire! Good play for a control deck. Our turn. Dun, 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 dun. Let's just take the scry. Set up our next turn. Looking for something cool, like an apparition. That's not bad, but it's not great. Take our hit. If you just believe... Shepherd of the Flock in play. That's two, three ones. Ready to beat down. Of course, we do hit them with our secret weapon next turn. They scry one through the tome. Totally fine. Looking for an extinction event. Right? Aren't we all? <laughs> right? If you're playing black, there's a good chance you are looking for an extinction event. Just like, where are you? I've got to find you. I know you're here somewhere. Go Toski. Can't be countered. Sorry, Quench. Can't be destroyed. Omen in play. So we hit for six. Double draw. Again, our whole field is even though. This is very sad. We are setting ourselves up for failure. But... Sometimes you just got to do the do, right? They can't always have Extinction Event. Even though it seems like they always have two of them, it's not supposed to happen like that, right? Okay, we get a draw engine, and we get two cards to play on top of it. That's perfect. So even if we get hit with the event, it's not a total failure because we drew a little bit of gas. And that's going to be okay. Good game. They don't get it, and they know what's coming. Woof. 
Extinction event or bust? Mm, maybe one or two more. Our opponent plays first, but this hand is baller! It's a little slow, but still very good. What time of day is it acceptable to start eating pizza? That's the question of the day, right? Let me know in the comments below. What time of day is it acceptable to start eating pizza? You guys savages, you go right for it? AM pizzas, or you kind of hold, try to hold off? Class it out a little bit. Giant Killer can trade with the Skull Prophet. I think they're just going to use it to ramp, though. I'm worried. This is like recursion. Foreign clicks. <sighs> Maybe we need that Giant Killer back in hand with an Usher. Let's just take the draw for now. Right? It doesn't matter. God draw enabled. Let's take our hit, right? We're not scared of you, Skull Prophet. Lethal in 19. <laughs> First blood. Okay, that fills the graveyard. That's four mana. It could be Pokranos, which is why we're saving this apparition. Because we cannot deal with that. It's Jund. They have red in play. I guess we should have taken it. Let's double draw, and the two beasts can get the job done, if there's no removal. No attacks. Elder Gargaroth in the house. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no. What else do they have? Ooh. Ooh! <laughs> so even if they find removal, now we have three Love Struck Beasts. Double draw off of them. I don't know how you win this game. I'm sure it'll happen because it's us, but we're going to do our best not to lose it. <laughs> Right, we're going to do our best not to lose it. We're looking for a uh, Skyclave, get in the air, first strike, start taking out this Gargaroth. Of course, we did just top deck another Giant Killer, and we have Shepard on the other one. All is well. Skull Prophet is okay. Yeah, this is game. Gargaroth is gonzo. It's too bad we don't have four lands for Toski. Let's hit for five. Should be fine. It's a few damage, right? 17, if unblocked. They can block 10 of that. Still hit for 7 as a minimum. Woof. They take 16 damage. Sure.
<laughs> All right. It's kind of one of those decks where it's either, you know, you blow your opponent out or they blow you out. Um, pardon my phrasing. But 71% win rate. I'm not complaining. This feels like an actually relatively finely tuned deck. Woof, woof, woof. Woof, woof, woof. Uh, Sabertooth squirrels. Do you know what noise they make? They woof. I know. You'd think they would, like, chirper. What kind of... What, what is the, uh, the sound for a squirrel? I don't even know. This one woofs. We know that much, at least. I have got a crush on Toski. The draw engine is amazing. Indestructible. So sorry. Removal decks can't be countered. So sorry, control decks. You know, the exile is still annoying, but that's why we run four copies, right? It's a legendary. It'll get exiled. It draws so much that it immediately pays for itself, right? Because a lot of the exile is not instant speed, which is pretty cool. So the fact that, you know, it can enter play, you attack with three other creatures or four other creatures, you know, get that draw and then they exile it. It's like, well, I, I probably just drew another copy of it, so... I'm fine with it. Let me know what you guys thought of the deck in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the channel to your friends, support financially on Twitch, Patreon, YouTube, our Amazon link, and our Grey Viking Games link. Everything is found in the description below. Also, you can find it in our link tree. Just Google Hello Good Game link tree if you can't find it in the description. Thank you so much for your time and attention, and we'll see you soon in the next video.